Hey, hello. It's Monday and that means it's time for a video, only I have spent all day today working my fingers to the bone to return my living room to a living room and my dining room into a dining room. So, after the party, even though it's been months, I think it's been more than one, it sat and we didn't do anything because we've been too busy doing other things. Yard, travel, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you've got no video from me today. There has been no progress on any unfinished projects. But what I have for you is the second half of the video that got lost. When I filmed Jean's unfinished objects, my software cut off the important part of the video. Although you got to see her um, sewing room tour, which was great, you didn't get to see Jean. And I have the film footage. So I'm going to, right after this, we're going to hop right in and we're going to talk about Jean's unfinished objects. She had of several, not nearly as shamefully many as I do, but many. And um, actually, I talked to her on Sunday and she said, well, I haven't touched any of them yet. I've been doing fun things like she's made two teddy bears. Um, she has, uh, what else has she done? Oh, she's been making cards with her friends and her friends have been coming over and making cards. She looks even better than she did in this video footage more than a month ago. Um, so I'm going to get on with the show and let you let you see me talk to her about her unfinished objects that are still valid unfinished objects. All right. Okay, it's unfinished objects time with Jean. I know you've been waiting. People have been putting it in the comments. I can't wait to see Jean's oh, unfinished God. objects. God. And you get a tour of her sewing room too. Yeah. I need her over at my house to help me organize my crap. <laughs> All right. This is, we could argue, the oldest, is it the oldest unfinished the oldest object in your room? Yeah. yeah. This was built for David, or this was purchased. It's not, it's technically stash. But it was bought for my daughter, for David's sister. When how when old was she when she you bought it? Three. When <laughs> she was three. How old is she now? Fifty-six. Oh, she's not quite as old as I am. This is the oldest one. It's Polly and her teddy bear, Candle That's House her. Crafts, yeah. in Leicester. I bet this doesn't exist anymore. Pretty sure. No, I don't think it does. I, I'll have a look and see if it does, yeah. but I bet it does not. I wonder if you could buy them on eBay or Etsy from somebody else that's never made it. That is actually a finished object, this one, oh. that I made with my sister. Oh, it's a bag. Yeah, it's quite And you nice finished bag. it, but it's the pattern. Got that pattern at the last Mulvin show. Oh, right here. Mm. It should go mm. in your pattern box then, yes, shouldn't it? it? Should. So this it is should. only unfinished in that it's not been put away. Yeah, that's right. All right, here's Christmas. These are cute. Oh, yeah. They, this was a class I went to. Look at these. Uh, to make your own Christmas cards with fabric. Oh, yeah. They do open. I missed that when they I looked do the open. first time. Oh, yeah. They open. There. Yeah. So there's a bird. Christmas pudding and stockings. And it's kind of art art quilty. But, boy, good way to use crafts up. Scraps yeah, up. It was free motion stuff. On your machine? Yeah. And then it's got lots of card, and I see a snowman. Yeah, these are more patterns and things. And card. Mm -hmm. But all it is... It's an ordinary card, stitched yeah. with uh, applique pieces. And then you glue it down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. Clever, huh? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to do for a ladies' get-together craft night mm -hmm. thingy. Yeah. All right. You just have to be careful when you're doing them. Why? You put the right pieces underneath and on top, because... Uh, you don't want the head going underneath the oh, breast I see. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So that you look at your edges. All right, what about your other Christmas unfinished object? Oh, um, Christmas one. Where's that going? Oh, maybe we didn't get it up here. I thought I grabbed it. Here, is this it? Oh, here we go. That's the thing. This is what it should be. A nativity wall hanging. This is its current state. <laughs> well, not quite. I have done. We've done this part. I have done the copying of the pieces. We now have to transfer each one of these onto the right fabric. And then applique in some it. form, right? But you also get all the fabric. Oh, for all the for pieces all of the, the buildings. 
Yeah, this is a uh, spoon flower. I can feel, or some equivalent in the UK, yeah. you can feel that it's a spoon flower so, product. Yeah, that is all the, yeah. the colors that you'll need to make to do. various pieces. Yeah. And then a little bit of gold lame and a background fabric. Yeah. It should have been made for Christmas. 2022. I? But you know what? I'm the six. same. If I don't finish the item before Christmas, it's going. It's yeah. not going to come out again until probably November. But the, the problem was Christmas. I, I oh, you were sick. sick. No, I know. Quick. <laughs> you were not in a good state. No. All right. We'll put these back. I'll put this back. How about this? What's? Oh, this is definitely a, either a not started or an unfinished. It's an un, not started, I think. It, it came... With my last but two sewing machine. <laughs> oh, it was a free gift a free with purchase gift to make a big. Oh, it's a nice tote. canvas. It is, and it's got all your. Bits. Oh, and it even has your interfacing for the yeah. bottom. Oh yes, it's complete to make oh, your. There you go. Your uh, tote. So, stash. <laughs> it's stash. What else have we got? Oh, uh, what do we got? I don't know. Oh, that's well, that. That's here, I'll put this over here. This is another one of Pauline's. Which... Or is this the one? Or no, is there... no, oh. that, there are two. So we have two of these. When I married David, Jean was hardcore into heirloom sewing. Mm. Now, of course, guess where I am at in my sewing trajectory. I'm now interested in the heirloom <laughs> sewing. And Jean's moved on. She's mm -hmm. like, been there, done that, not no, interested not, in heirloom not quite. much. <laughs> no, not quite. But this is an heirloom sewing pillow sampler, I think. Yes, it is. And so is the other one? Yeah. Yeah. So there's two of these stash items. This is Ooh, unfinished. look at that. Look at this unfinished that thing. That was supposed to be a wall hanging or a picture, framed picture, for a friend who likes tropical See, it, it's, scenes. It's she, bedazzled. She didn't actually like it, so it never got finished. You know what? What? This would go great with your newly acquired Hawaiian fabric. Yes, it would. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. you could like make a proper quilt mm -hmm. bed cover out of it. Yeah. Yes, you could. Mm. I like it. That was nice. They were sort of iron on. Uh, the gems. bedazzles. Yeah, yeah, the bedazzlers yeah. are. Yeah. That turned out really good. Well, I liked it. But and look at the machine. Didn't. Is this the new? Is this the new machine or the machine ones before? Don't, don't remember the one before i think marietta if you're watching look at jean doesn't get wrinkles okay then tell us how do you stop your embroidery from wrinkling marietta just did this entire gown on silk and it, she really had trouble with rippling and at some point she just had to sort of connect things no i just it's just normal batting normal batting i may have put um a stabilizer, a stabilizer. oh here 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 oh yeah there's a That's wash just a tear away, it's a tear away it? stabilizer yeah. So is the key all stabilizer? Stabilizer, it's always the key. So you just key. have to find yeah. the right one. And if you're suspicious uh, that it will wrinkle, put um, a wash away on the top. Oh, on the top. Mm. So double yeah. sandwich yeah. it. Yeah. But then with silk. With silk, you can't use wash away, can you? It's risky. Um, you might be able to use iron away. which Maybe. Um, because it with a sample, at least. At least you could try, try it, first, it on a but scrap. It, but it won't burn your silk. But silk takes quite a high temperature. Yeah. Oh no, it does. Yeah. So but boy, do, not I a wrinkle on that. Some, um, uh, it looks a bit like canvas, a fine canvas that you uh, stitch over. Yeah. And then you can iron oh, it, and it comes away. There's also the kind where you can like cross stitch fabric, where you could pull them out. But boy, yeah. that would be tedious would be as all get. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna go get yeah. the Hawaiian fabric. I know where it is. There it is. Yeah, it's right there. I put it next to you. There you go. Whoops. You got it? Yeah. All right, look at this. Let's see if I can get this in view. Woo, look at that. Should I hold a bit? Look yeah. at, there, you got a whole quilty you could do. Yeah. Oh, it would just go with that, wouldn't it? Yeah, well. and there's even a bit of blue in this one. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here, let me put it up a little higher. There. Look at that. <laughs> well, there we go. All right. Good thing this unfinished project remained unfinished, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Diana's going to feel like she missed out now. <laughs> no, I don't think there's much in this. No, uh, I don't... No, that's just the wobble, I think. This is the remains There was a pattern, I quilt. think. Oh, yeah. That's oh, is it leftovers? No. I saw, I saw a pattern. I always look down one side for the pattern. Yeah. Oh, this. That did you already say that? Yes. And I, I did finish it, but... Um, not completely because I didn't like the fact that these were not, not regular. 
Oh, because they were random. Here is the pattern. It's Sarah Payne, which I think we do get her in the U.S. Is yeah, she American? She does. No, she's English. She's British? Yeah. yeah. I don't like the term quilt hamper. Well, she sells... What's a hamper? Well, to me, a hamper is a place you put yeah, your dirty it's, clothes. It's a plastic bag with the contents to make a quilt. Oh, every, and she... Every so month, it's... Every month. Gotcha. And I decided... So what do we call that? Expensive. Gift box, I guess. We yeah, call it a gift box instead like of a hamper. Yeah. This. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we're in exploration mode. I think we've got leftover scraps here. Oh. Oh, I don't even remember where that came from. Oh, how often does it this happen nice to you? Tea cloth, it? How often does this happen to you? Oh, I don't remember what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice All tablecloth. It is beautiful tablecloth. Yeah. It'd be gorgeous. Just hem it. Yeah. 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 It's and it's a nice square sure. already, so all you got to do is hem it, and then you could lay it diagonally across yeah, the dining room or even yeah. on your one downstairs. I have no idea where that came from. Well, there we go. Yeah. New project. And, um, and that was part of the hamper. Uh, Leftover white, white on white. Stuff. And that was part of the uh, pieces. This is what she was... I saw that. Uh, that was part of the making mm. of it. This I didn't is... like it. It's interfacing, and they call, she calls it paper piecing. I didn't yeah. read her instructions. You stitch and flip. You fabric onto these shapes, but I found it very difficult. And yeah. I gave up. I know you do that with a log cabin, but you draw them onto, yeah. like, muslin and stuff. No, I... She th Not so a fan. So that should go into that, back into there. Do you want it back in there? Do you want this in there? Even though you've yeah. now eyeballed this for a no, tablecloth? No, All right, yeah. this is going to move up in the ranks and soon. What else have I got? I don't know. Oh, that's a kit. That nope, I don't think so. There. Oh, yeah, this was cute. Oh, and this yeah. is more Christmassy-ish. Yeah, I've done a lot of these. Mandy Shaw designs, and she does little you Christmassy ornament or door. She has a whole host of this shaped uh, hanging heart with lots of different designs. Different embroidery designs. But they're all hand sewn. Yeah. Well, you know, I, we like embroidery. Yes. Yeah. These are definitely so Christmassy, though. I made though. Uh, one of those for each of my friends at Christmas. Oh, yeah. Here's the peace mm -hmm. one. He's cute. Mm -hmm. There's that one. I remember when we called you and you were working on one of these. Yeah, yeah. And then she's got a whole bunch of fabric left. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have more stuffed dolls. Oh, this is... Um, is that for this fabric? This red and white Christmas is a book. Okay, so this is the book. Oh, okay. And there are all sorts of Christmas things in like the little mice, mice. and things. And those are tra iron-on transfers to, to iron them on to your fabric. Oh. And then... So it's a book of just transfers. It's a, yeah, that's just the transfers. But it goes with the book, which mm. has all the instructions. And you have the book? Yes, I do. You have the book. I bought it while I was with you one day. In, in the U.S.? Mm. Well, I don't remember her. Mandy Shaw. I don't know. She's quite a big name over here. But it came in this, it was in this bag. You were just reusing your bag then? Uh, no, it came in the, Oh, maybe I must reuse No, it. you must have ordered this then, because this is clearly... Yeah, when you order one, you get it in that. Yeah. But I ordered a piece of, a big piece of fabric and several packs. But don't you think this is probably Create and Craft? It is. Royal Mail. No, that was direct from her. Birmingham. Yeah, no, that came direct from Mandy her. Shaw. She has her own person. I don't know that there's an awful lot more. Uh, there was something. What was this? Uh, that one, actually. Oh, that's yeah. more of the same. This was all the fabric I ordered to make. Oh, yeah, more, more hearts. hearts. Lots of hearts. Boy, you got yeah, lots of, and yeah. you've still got quite a bit left. Yeah. This is thank you. Yeah. There's lots of different ones. She produces one every two months a different design. Yeah. Okay. Some people decorate the whole of the house with Oh, I see. Those. With hers, yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw one. This is my dressmaking that's not yet being tackled. Oh, oh, but that's a cute dress. Sort of a sheath dress, mm -hmm. t-shirty. And this is the one I really want to make. Oh, I like that one I even like better. One, yeah. This yeah. one. And this is the fabric that I have. Cool. It's the Betty dress. Yes. Uh, so I've oh, got uh, 
some lovely red linen. Ooh. To make one of them. Yeah. That oh, sure. one, I think. You think? That one. I'm not sure about that one. Well, I think yeah. if this one works out well, let's make two, right? Yeah. And this is a different... Oh, fabric. this is rayon, though. It's, um, you, I would make the linen one into this. See yeah, how this is out of a I cotton? Yeah, that's what i Yeah. And that's the one she I has linen and rayon, but I'd be afraid to make this directly into rayon because it's quite drapey and clean. I don't think it was called worse because it's rayon. So yeah, I can feel it. What's the other name for it? Um, Chalet. No, it begins with M. Tinsel. It begins with M. Never mind, it'll come back to me. I don't know. All right, so that is my box of... There was one where I saw that you had multiple copies of the same pattern. What oh, it, maybe it's pattern? this over here. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's that one. What kind of pattern? Uh, let's see if we can find it. It was a bag pattern. Let's see. I don't think it was this, because that's more of the embroidery. Not that one. It's, um, no, that's the bag that the needs bag. to be filed yeah. into... Mm -hmm. Not there, not there. Oh well, maybe I we found it. I think that's it. Maybe we found it. Yeah, we went through it. Oh well, we didn't. Is there one more over there? Oh yeah, there's that one. One more. No, this is the second one of the. Oh yeah. Uh, this is the. I like this one better than the other cushion actually. That's the other heirloom lace cushion. Right. And then the unfinished, never started bag. This one. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Toiletry bag. Well, it's a, three little things. I Charms. Think. I'm trying to look at the designer because I do. I think I have that some of this in brown and pink. Villa Tuella. Yeah. Fiona's fancy by Lil, Lila Tuella. She's Riley Lily Blake, Blake designs. designs. Yeah. It's just a little pre-cut. So, yeah. So that's what it is. A sunglass case. Um, a, sunglass case a, exterior. A cosmetic case. case large and a cosmetic a case, case exterior. Small. It's yeah. the bits. Yeah. And then the instructions go down the side. They're this doing, feels like nicer fabric. They're doing this more and more here. I think it's because the fabric has gone up so much in price. That you can get that it all if in They one. give you just the bit you need. You, well, yeah, because you could, you'd yeah. have to buy all fat quarters to yeah. do this. Yeah, of course you would. So they're doing this more and more. Hmm. Um, yeah. All so right. So that is me. Is that it? That is it. Well, there's loads more lying around, but what's going to happen? Where is it at? You can could look at my basket under there with the red stuff on top. Oh, and that's that where is I'm a basket of nothing but Christmas fabrics. Christmas, <laughs> Christmas uh, stash. Mm -hmm. Well, and then there's the we were talking about the preemie baby project. Oh yeah. That you're now you've decided you've done a bunch. Yeah. You have a bunch done. Shall and I you show have... you one or two of yeah, those? Yeah, let's look at those. Where is it? How many years has it been? Quite a Ten, few. Probably. Ten years. Jean has taken old wedding dresses. Let me scooch you up a little bit. Old wedding dresses that people no longer want. Either they got divorced and they had nothing to do with this wedding dress, or they just didn't want to store or it anymore, donate, right? Or they donate them out of the goodness care, of the hearts. Out of their mm -hmm. care. Out of the, mm -hmm. But they, she takes these old wedding dresses, and there's a pattern, isn't there? I mean, it's there this, is a pattern. It's this a basic bit. pattern, but then you get to do whatever you want with the embellishment, right? It's this right? basic kimono pattern. They're all based on that. This pattern right uh, here. On, except where there, where I cut it and gather yeah. the stuff. So then you get to do what you want with it and use, like, I'm sure you fussy cut this. You didn't take this off. Oh, no, I cut it. I took the lace off and, and sewed it back and on again. And sewed it back on again. So see, this one has a double mm -hmm. flounce. And so she just made these at one after another. And what it's for is if basically you have... These are babies who don't actually survive. They don't make it. They're not premature. They actually, poor souls, die at stillbirth or at birth, whatever. Or too young to survive. Yeah. And so the organization has these available at the hospital to give to the parents so that their babies are too old to not have a burial or some sort of a funeral. Yeah. So this gives them something nice to put on the babies. Sometimes they're born... As they say goodbye, right? They're born so early that the parents have got nothing prepared. Yeah. And that, so that's what they've Gives got. them something but to some give. Some of them come with beautiful embroidery yeah. on Yeah, lots them. of appliques and... That one's similar. There's another one with the beads and things. But... Since Jean's been sick, she's decided that she wants to focus her energies 
Yeah. And she's done this for 10 years and she's found somebody else that one has a place to send them because during COVID it has been hit and miss about where to send these, who's taking them, who's not taking them. And so I'm looking down at a packing box, a medium sized packing box full of dresses. I can finished. tell you there's 40 odd in there. 40, 40 dresses. And these are just the ones waiting to go. And we do at times. This little white dress. Also send. Or I know the bonnet. This little bonnet. Just a look at that bonnet. Isn't that gorgeous? And I don't know if I can find one like that, but we do have a pattern for a boy. Because unfortunately, I believe boys are more. Oh yeah, they aren't as hardy at birth. Yeah. I can't. Uh, they, it's a very simple adaptation to divide the skirt into like a romper mm -hmm. and it has a little waistcoat crotch. on yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. you don't so want to look at a million no, of no. them. So we'll 40 dresses. But off. Jean's decided she's going to move on in her endeavors and pass what wedding dresses are left. What have yeah. you got? Oh, I've got the remains of four. So four partial right. wedding dresses left and then um, these 40 dresses. And she found somebody interested in taking them on. So... Yeah. She's going to mail these off, and this woman has a charity that's still taking them. She she makes beautiful dresses, and it, too. And Exen, like this is an example of an unfinished project that you've decided <laughs> to move on from. True. It's perfectly okay. That's true, yeah. Perfectly okay. Yeah. Oh, this. do you want another one? What? Another unfinished Oh, project. we have another unfinished project. Because we were going too long. All right, we have a couple more unfinished objects. You have to edit it. Oh, yeah. Today. Oh, yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Just mad crazy scrappy patchwork. quilt. Scrappy of all. So, do you sorts. make squares or do you just? Well, I started off making uh, squares of this kind, where they're all shapes and sizes, and then I started making more regular ones. I just push them all together. Uh, but what I start Here it is. with is that bag of scraps. My big bag of scraps. And I just take whatever comes out first, stitch it together, and it nearly always turns out all right. I think this would be great for that um, organization. Yeah. I don't think it's... It's yes, gender if, neutral, if, absolutely gender neutral. If I make it big enough, it will be yeah. good enough for... And what's good about this is, because it's supposed to be a hug, mm. you give them... There's something to do to focus in on, yeah. looking at the different pieces. Yeah. Right? Yep, so that's, that's cool. that one. And then there's, here's some examples of those the heart. hearts, the Christmas hearts that we were looking at. They're not exactly Christmas, but because they're red, mm. they, and there's a lot of them that are Christmassy. Yeah. And right. then, one last item. It's mostly finished, except for one thing. <laughs> it needs its... I bet we could finish this in about five seconds. <laughs> You have a clip-on version? <laughs> yeah, I think I have got the I clips. love this green. I love yes, that fabric. It's nice, isn't it? I have a yeah. thing for green and orange. You guys all know that. Yeah. Mm, it's cute. That's the last thing I made with Anne. Oh. I might keep that one. You totally should. Yeah. You should get the bag. Yes. You should finish it. Yeah. You yes. totally should. We were making them for her Christmas fair last year. She was over here in the autumn. Yeah. We did them. Yeah, you totally should keep this one then and use it. Yeah. I will. Yes. And it's a nice one. Yeah, it's and very the nice fabrics one. were nice on them. Yeah. And even the lining was nice. No, it's really pretty and they all look really good together. Yeah. I'll so you just need a strap. One. There was a strap. Was there? In that tote. Oh. Maybe we can find a strap and finish this one today. I'll let you know. <laughs> and then the machine, he wanted nothing more to do with it. And so he gave her all of the, the supplies, stuff. and this was in amongst the unfinished This stuff. is an adopted, unfinished object. Yeah. So a man's wife had died, and Pauline went to buy the cabinet and sewing machine that this man had. But he wanted to just shift the stuff. And so part of... She was required to take away <laughs> unfinished objects. Yes, Smart guy, eh? So... This is an unfinished flower garden, quite big, but she, this is English paper piecing, very large English. So she sat and did a lot of English paper piecing. She did, and there's another piece of it. We and have it came with two, a large, a large supply of two big pink 
bits. Large supply oh, of... Oh, finished. No, I finished these. Oh, put, oh. All the hexagons were cut, and I Oh, put but you them put together. them on the machine. Oh, yeah, I did them on the you're... machine, because I don't do hands. No. So um, then we have all these as well. well. You've got enough for three quilts, not two. Well, the trouble is trying to put things together that look right. If you've any idea... You can help well, most them. of these they take solids and put them in between. Yes, that's what I think I've got to Although do. Although she wasn't on this, she just put all no, pinks together. No, no. I've darked some lights though a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Any okay. advice, guys? What should you do with this? Mm. And there's more here, you see, this might go. And uh, I think I've now put She had great together. taste in florals. It feels like cotton. It's not all, it's polyester. Some oh, of it. is some of yeah. it blend? So it's not, you know, not very good. Yeah. But uh, there is more of the hexagons. Uncut. So lavender has been cut. There's peach and orange over there. There's black and white. Oh my goodness. She made a lot. Of, boy, how do you guys feel about doing the same project over and over again? I'm not a big no. fan of the same quilt over and over and over again. No, she obviously how are you? Do you guys like doing the same thing over and over and over, or do you like doing different things? I get bored really quick. Oh, there, she did have some plain that was going to go in between, but not yeah. enough, you see. No, you'd have to do more. So the bag is, again, an unfinished object. This is a major unfinished adopted object. Well, and you can choose to pass it on. You could give it to the charity shop and yeah. no longer have it be your problem. That was a suggestion. Or you could take it on. I think I'd rather finish it if I yeah. well, it's a game to finish it. Well, I don't <laughs> Not that big I have to love it before I'm willing to finish it. But I've adopted a lot of embroidery projects from random people at secondhand stores, so. Right. All right, That's I think we've is. covered it all. We've That's, at least covered the sewing ones. That is the last. All right, let's hope there were no other glitches in that video and that you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, think about subscribing, share this video with somebody else, and ring the bell and leave a comment. What do you think of Jean's unfinished objects? I thought it was a little funny when people said, well, I didn't see Jean. Well, that would be why, because she wasn't in the video you got to see. Ugh software. Sometimes it's the bane of my existence. All right. I will see you on Thursday with progress, I hope. Bye.